prove that the sequence negative 1 to the n diverges. So intuitively, if you look at this sequence, the first term is negative 1. Because when you plug in 1, you get negative 1 to the 1, which is negative 1. When you plug in 2, you get 1. When you plug in 3, you get negative 1, etc. So intuitively, this sequence diverges. If you can actually write the sequence out as a piecewise function, this is equal to 1 if n is even, and it's equal to negative 1 if n is odd. And we're going to use this intuition to do the proof. So proof. So to prove it diverges, we'll suppose that it converges. So suppose it converges to, say, L. And that means that for every epsilon greater than 0, there is a positive integer n, such that for all little n bigger than that n, the difference between the terms of our sequence and L are smaller than epsilon. So I said a lot there really fast. We're going to set epsilon equal to 1. And so let's actually write down what I said. That means there exists a positive integer n such that for all little n bigger than capital N, the difference between negative 1 to the n and L is less than 1. Now, there's probably lots of clever and elegant ways to prove this, but let's do it just the way you would figure it out. So we know the problem with this sequence is that it bounces back and forth between negative 1 and 1. We know that if n is even, it's 1, and if n is odd, it's negative 1. So let's pick some obvious integers that we know are odd and even. So note, negative 1 to the 2n minus l. This has to be less than 1. And the reason is that 2n is bigger than n, right? We know that 2n is bigger than n. Negative 1 to the 2n, well, 2n is even. So this is 1 minus l less than 1. And what does this mean? This means that 1 minus l is less than 1 and greater than negative 1. And if we subtract 1 from every side, we end up with negative 2 less than negative l less than 0. OK, so we've used the fact that the sequence is equal to 1 if n is even. So that part is done. And also, we can look at negative 1 to the 2n plus 1. 2n plus 1 is obviously bigger than n, so this is less than 1 as well by hypothesis. So negative 1 to the 2n plus 1 is negative 1. So this is negative 1 minus l, and this is less than 1. So this is negative 1 minus l less than 1 greater than negative 1. If we add 1 to all the sides, we get 0 less than negative l less than, uh, let's see, less than 2. Right, 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, so we have two conditions. So we have this condition here tells us that negative l is in the interval negative 2, 0. And this condition here is also true. It tells us that negative l is in the interval 0, 2. So negative l is in the intersection of negative 2, 0 and 0, 2. But this intersection is empty. So we have a ridiculous contradiction. So kind of a fun proof. Uh, I've seen many proofs of this, but they're all, you know, 1 is equal to some stuff, some stuff, some stuff, less than 1. It's just like, wow, how'd you do that? How'd you know to do that? Um, this is a more intuitive proof, so I hope, I hope this made sense. So you just write down what it means for a series to converge. And then you use this, right? You use, use both conditions, and you reach a contradiction. So I hope that made sense.